Hello everybody, let us today study another very important uh, aspect of food processing which is known as commonly hurdle technology. So, we will study now what is the hurdle technology concept and its use in stabilization of high moisture or intermediate moisture foods. Hurdle technology is the combined use of several preservation methods to make a product self stable to improve its quality and to provide additional safety to the product. It is also known as combined method technology. The spoilage and pathogenic microorganisms, they are not able to jump over the individual factors which are applied to the food that is the combined factors which are generally called hurdles. So, this is the major concept in this hurdle technology as you could see here in this picture there is some bacterial cells are shown and different uh, factors like temperature, pH, water activity, gaseous atmosphere, food preservatives. So, if these factors are applied individually then maybe in order to get the desired sterility, severe conditions of these individual factors might be required, but when they are applied together, then there are many a times various synergist effect are there or synergism occurs in different factors. So, their severity can be reduced and even the microorganism they find it difficult to jump over or to overcome the stress created by these total all different factors together and in the run process these microorganisms they either remain inactive or they die. So, that is the all or overall concept of the hurdle technology which you can see again the same thing in this figure that is which has been uh, pictorially shown that is the pH, water activity etcetera when there are only one factor it becomes easy for the microorganism to cross over or when there are two factors may be that if the microorganism has jumped one or crossed one the other it cannot do and similarly when there are more factors then the microorganisms that is they are not able to overcome the stress created by these factors and they die and the food gets stabilized. So, the complex interactions of the various factors like temperature, water activity, pH etcetera are used here or here they it, these interactions are utilized in positive sense to have a better product with longer shelf life and better value. In this again the same concept in the case of packaging that is hydro technology in the packaging antimicrobial system development of antimicrobial system. In the top portion of this figure you can see that is the when we apply any packaging material either we select the material it may be impermeable to moisture it may provide oxygen barrier or the co student laminates may provide moisture or oxygen barrier both, but the hurdle technology concept even it provides or it facilitates that along with having both that is the moisture as well as oxygen barrier one can incorporate that is antimicrobial coating etcetera or antimicrobial compounds can be mixed with the packaging material. So, in addition to providing oxygen and uh, moisture barrier this uh, packaging material also provides barrier to oxygen. So, ultimately that is the products has better quality and longer shelf life. The advantages of hurdle technology as I already 
told you it can avoid the severity of one factor of preservation there is a combination of factors which act synergistically hurdle at lower concentration prevents undesired side effects it has lower production costs and it saves energy hurdle technology foods remain stable and safe for longer periods of time even without refrigeration different hurdles which can be used may include aseptic packaging high temperature ionic radiation low temperature modified atmosphere pressure or even chemicals like lactic acid low ph low salt ozone phenol oxygen and so on that is a list exhaustive so the all these the various either physical agents or chemical agent or other physical chemical agents which can influence the bacterial growth and development kinetics or bacterial decay kinetics or enzyme inactivation kinetics etc they can all be utilized in this concept also there are uh, that is the different non thermal methods of food processing which we have earlier seen that is high pressure accordingly the high pressure pulse electric field ultrasonic and etc there are various non thermal methods so these non thermal methods can also be used as a potential hurdle for example high intensity pulse electric fields it has a good potential to be used together with uh, ph water activity etc high intensity pf it causes changes in the cell membrane due to electro mechanical instability so the combination of heat lysozyme and high intensity pf are potential alternatives to the heat sterilization of foods even the positive or possible synergistic effect of these non thermal hurdles that is the pf high intensity pf together with ph and ionic strength they result even in the inactivation of microorganisms or spoilage microorganism or toxin producing microorganism etc at a lower temperature the and how it happens that is electric field and ionic strength they are both related to the poresan and even it these cause the physical damage to the cell membrane so increase in the field intensity and number of pulses result in the increased inactivation ph changes result into the changes in the cytoplasmic conditions mainly due to the osmotic imbalance caused by poresan so this poresan even cytoplasmic uh, changes or osmotic imbalance etc these together uh, they have synergistic effect and this can result into the inactivation of even toxin producing microorganism or food spoilage microorganism even at a comparatively lower ph so this can be the combination of ph ionic strength temperature and antimicrobial agents etc have a great promise as potential non thermal hurdles similarly high hydrostatic pressure also can be used as a hurdle potential hurdle in this concept you have seen earlier when we were discussing high pressure processing then we saw that the commercial pasteurization or sterilization of low acid foods particularly becomes very difficult by high pressure processing so such foods where there is the acidity is low there is low acid because this uh, enzymes or microorganism they provide very very high resistant to pressure under those conditions so these uh, but these microorganisms are enzymes which has high bioresistance 
they can be easily killed at a lower pressure or lower uh, hydrostatic pressure if the pressure is combined with temperature if the pressure is also combined with water activity. So, heat antimicrobials ultrasound ionizing radiation etcetera are combined together to have the better preservation effect or to accelerate the rate of trouble creating microorganisms or enzymes. The antimicrobial effect of high pressure increases with heat low pH carbon dioxide organic acids and bacteriocins like niacin. The combination of high pressure with acetic, benzoic or sarvic acids, sulphides with polyphenols and chitosans etcetera allow the reduction of uh, processing conditions and even at uh, low, lower processing conditions or comparatively lower processing parameters severity less severe process parameters we can get desired or more better beneficial effects. So, let us now briefly discuss that is how these uh, hurdle technology foods are stabilized what is their microbiological stability and first we will discuss about the intermediate moisture foods. You know I hope that intermediate moisture foods have comparatively high moisture content, okay. their water activity is in the range of 0 0.75 to 0 0.85 and in the earlier classes when we were discussing about the food spoilage microorganisms etcetera, we have seen that is the it is the 0 0.85, 0 0.85 is the minimum water activity which is required for the growth of spoilage or toxin producing microorganism. So, if the food its water activity is brought below this then they will not be able to grow or survive. Solutes and humicants can be used to adjust the water activity and different solutes like uh, sugar, salt, polyols etcetera have potential in this regard. The quantities of these solutes, however, should be used in proper manner and such a way that whatever the solutes quantity used to get the desired effect, it should not impart undesirable sensory characteristics. It should not affect the physical properties of the food products. So, if this uh, only water removal is taken a means or only that is the uh, solutes or humicants addition is taken a means. So, may be one has to add more amount of solutes or one has to remove more amount of water from the food and which may adversely affect the sensory and textural and other characteristics. So, a combination of both that is partly remove the water and partly add uh, these uh, humicants etcetera and then the food can be stabilized at a comparatively lesser uh, factors or lesser quantity of these factors. So, various factors like uh, that is the which uh, provide stability to the intermediate moisture foods include water activity, redox potential, pH, addition of certain some preservatives as well as thermal treatments. So, their doses can should be properly optimized and used to have stabilization to get the room temperature stabilized intermediate moisture foods. So, the fruits are an ideal raw material for their conversion into intermediate moisture foods or even the various intermediate moisture fruit products are available in the market that they can tolerate pH reduction without affecting flavor significantly. The also the even the they can be converted into suitable grade IMF by the even 
lesser addition of humicant the result in the stability however that is this uh, once you, you are giving lesser humicant lesser removal of water etc so that can be compensated to provide stability this uh, can be compensated by adding some preservative or by providing some blanching effect to the fruit tissue so the ph reduction that will not result in flavor impairment can be employed permitted preservatives can be used or even combination of all these factors that is the preservatives blanching ph reduction water activity reduction all this should be properly optimized and their proper uh, that uh, combinations should be used and which gives uh, it appears a better strategy or methodology to prepare stable and good quality adultic foods low ph that is an organic acid affect the growth of acid tolerant microbes like fungi and lactic acid bacteria in the fruits which have high ph like banana melons figs etc the minimum ph adjusted should be compatible with the natural flavor of the fruit as i already told you earlier that the adjustment of the ph to get the desired effect should not result in significant sensory or other changes into the material so they are they are usually limited by this sensory changes so that is a little reduction of ph and then remaining things can be done by addition of some other preservative etc or even blanching effect blanching inactivates the enzymes or injures microorganism reduces initial microbial load even sulfiting agents can be used to minimize that is browning reactions like non enzymatic and other types of browning reactions then there is another category of high moisture fruit products or high moisture food products and the foods with water activity as high as 0.98 can be stabilized using hurdle technology concept the products with such high water activity even can be kept at room temperature for longer period of time even without refrigeration so here again different uh, factors are utilized the ph exerts a strong selective pressure on the existing microflora the hmfp foods normally their ph is maintained in between 3 to 4.1 and this ph it uh, is a uh, Uh, above the optimum requirement of the microorganism and the microorganism may not be able to grow under this ph and the ph and water activity interaction in the applied ranges is sufficient enough to suppress the growth of most of the bacteria which are of concern in fruit preservation so even it has been reported that the high levels of at high levels of water activity the effects of ph on osmophilic yeasts might be the same as those on non osmophilic yeasts so for the preservation or stabilization of hmfp the common hurdles which can be used include blanching water activity depression lowering of ph addition of chemical preservatives like sorbates or benzoates and the addition of sulfites as an anti browning agent so normally when these factors are there so this food or hmfp is preserved by interference with the homeostasis of the microorganisms under these conditions in fact the homeostasis is disturbed by the preservation factors multiple preservation factors and the microorganism as i told you earlier is not able to multiply or may even dry so however that is the these parameters 
their labels doses so to be intelligently chosen and even modeling mathematical modeling and other things should be done process should be optimized parameters should be properly chosen so that to get the maximum stability in the product without any significant effect on its quality safety and eatability so these are the things now let us uh, study little detail that is little bit that is how these different hurdles act how they have the preservation effect the water activity uh, discussed detail of this that is they uh, it affects the majority of the microorganism and it is not only the not the water quantity but in the farm in which water is present that is water activity which decides the whether the microorganism will survive or not or whether the chemical reaction will be there or not so microorganisms are metabolically active only over a certain ranges of water activities this also we have seen earlier so what happens that is these most of the microorganisms they do not contain water impermeable barriers and they tend rapidly to form some sort of equilibrium that is osmotic equilibrium with their surroundings whenever they come in any surrounding they form osmotic equilibrium so when the water activity is reduced means that is the osmotic uh, pressure is decreased osmotic concentration is increased so the osmolality of the environment will be high and the solute present they cannot penetrate the cell membrane and because of this gradient in the osmotic level inside the cell as well as outside the cell that is the in order to maintain the equilibrium the cell loses water that is the microorganisms lose water and this loss of water results in reduced metabolic activity of the cell and at least temporarily the growth ceases in other words you can say that is the homeostasis of the cell is disturbed and the cell growth stops ph again we have earlier studied that is the microflora is affected by the hydrogen ion concentration free hydrogen ion concentration as well as the concentration of the undissociated weak acids so this weak acids cause leakage of hydrogen ion across the cell membrane they acidify the cell interior and inhibit transport mechanism so growth inhibition can in principle be caused by interference of these uh, weak acids etc with the cell membrane with the interference with the metabolic enzymes with the protein synthesis systems or with the genetic material in other words you can say that normal physiological processes of the cell get disturbed so in a mixed initial flora the acidity and ph of the food that may determine the potential spoilage microorganism and accordingly that is what uh, how the microorganism which microorganism may grow or which microorganism will not grow so by having appropriate acid or ph one can get the desired effect acidity slows down the growth of spoilage microorganism and pathogens pathogens won't grow and spores won't germinate if the acidity of the food or ph is less than 4.5 similarly the preservatives they inhibit bacteria yeast or molds they are used at low levels for specific applications that is in fact at a very very low level like a few milligrams in the in a kilogram or of the food or so and some of the preservatives commonly used are benzoate in soft drinks propionates in baked goods nitrates in meats sulfites in wines ascorbates in juices etc blanching that is a, a 
little less a uh, comparatively less severe heat treatment given to fruits or vegetable tissues as a pre processing steps and the main aim here is to inactivate enzymes or sometime it also results in destruction of sub that is a mesophilic bacteria etc so the water activity and ph hurdles with blanching step reduces initial microbial count disturbs the homeostasis and assures microbial stability so when the blanched fruit tissue or blanched vegetable tissues it put into the medium where the water activity ph and preservatives etc are standardized or they are they are controlled then they form some sort of equilibrium there is material comes into the equilibrium stage with these factors and once after the once the equilibrium is set then after few time slowly and slowly the microorganisms dies that there is a decrease in the viable numbers count during this equilibrium stage and this is called auto sterilization that is auto sterilization process of stable hurdle technology foods what happens that is the when the microorganisms which are present in the system they try to do everything possible they try to exert every possible repair mechanism to overcome the hostile environment that is to overcome the stress created by these factors around them against them and in the process they completely use up uh, energy and die by becoming metabolically inactive or they get exhausted metabolically the hurdle technology processed food are microbiologically stable in non refrigerated conditions for about 3 to 8 months there are several reports in this regard and many hurdle technology processed foods are present there so we have seen the concept we have seen how they can be but another imp- very very important thing that these hurdle technology foods that is their quality and safety of this because they are mostly non thermal process and less severe process parameters are seen so it becomes very very important that their safety is assured and their quality is good so sanitation is an important aspect in this hurdle tech foods proper hasap programs should be designed to assure their safety overall quality must be ensured by having or by following good manufacturing practices okay in other words you can say that the st foods or hurdle tech foods should not represent significant risk of pathogenic hazards so the quality attributes should be preserved and the foods should be good appealing they should have good or consistent texture fresh like appearance and acceptable color and ultimately the sensory quality of the food that is their sensory quality should be better the combined methods technology applied by placing blanched food into a solution of sucrose aids and additives in such concentration that after the stabilization time the desired water activity ph and additives concentrations are attained okay and it should not result into any sensory change then this hurdle technology as you have seen that is most of the processing parameters which are used here uh, combination technology their label is reduced so you can also say that this hurdle tech foods hurdle technology foods are okay, they can be brought into the category of that is minimally processed food means that is the process severity is least here even these are the there are the minimally processed foods are those which are exposed to 
least possible severe treatments or minimum possible process factors and that is done by having a combination of factors. So, they result into the minimum change in the product and the processed product appears its fresh like counterpart in sensory and other characteristics. Okay. So, the operations involved here may be trimming, peeling and cutting, washing, disinfecting, packaging or even maintaining that is some may be pH or water activity etcetera to the lowest possible level. So, that the foods are stabilized, but at the same time they do not have any effect visible effect on the sensory aspect. So, this uh, combines novel preservation technologies to inhibit microorganisms. The stability of the product is evaluated by determining the native microbial load, heating during blanching significantly reduces yeast etcetera and even number of microbes is lower still more during the equilibrium stage. As far as the development of hurdle technology food products are concerned, two factors should be taken into account like the different hurdles should be selected in such a way, the process parameters should be chosen in such a way that the product is microbiologically stable and it has a self life at least 3 months without refrigeration. The chemical overload must be reduced in the product and this can be obtained that is the different uh, combinations or hurdles which can be used may be refrigeration, slight thermal treatment, non-thermal treatment, use of natural antimicrobial etcetera or as I told you earlier that predictive models can be used to select the hurdles and their levels to assure stability and safety of the products. Regarding the future trend in hurdle technology foods that is main or main crux of the thing is that main important most important thing is the microbial control measures that is the control measures for heat resistant foods that implicate spoilage and outbreaks are needed. That is what are the how these different heat resistant microorganisms can be controlled by using less uh, severe processes. Inhibition of sorbate resistant yeasts and molds should be studied and there are some bacteria like Zygosaccharomyces bacilli etcetera, which they are resistant to heat, resistant to low pH, reduced water activity and sorbic and benzoic etcetera. So, their resistance uh, should be that is how they can be uh, their growth etcetera or multiplication can be inhibited in HMFP or how they can HMFP can be stabilized where these bacteria etcetera are these such type of resistant spores of are present. So, that should be. Then also the antimicrobial system in plants as well as natural preservatives etcetera should be and hurdles with combination of spice essential oils inhibit the microbial growth effectively. So, that is also the preservative etcetera instead of synthetic preservatives or synthetic chemical compounds even these uh, plant or spice essential oils or spice extracts etcetera this should also be explored in this direction. So, there are some processes combination of process like which uh, uses the hurdle technology concept like mano thermosonication that is the combination of low pressure, mild heat treatment and ultrasonic wave treatment for inactivation of microorganism. Even this combination of mano thermosonication results in the inactivation of peroxidases, lipoxygenases and polyphenol oxidases which are otherwise 
very resistant to heat or individually they are very resistant to pressure. Synergic, ef just synergistic effect reduces enzyme resistance and heat requirement for their inactivation. Even this mano thermosonication technology can be effectively utilized for processing of low acid foods like milk and even other uh, acid as well as high acid food materials, juices, other drinks etcetera, where the thermostable enzymes particularly are problematic. However, there is some research and development, some data need to be generated in these regards, some effective control measurology, some methods to evaluate the microorganism etcetera should be utilized, so that I want to method to measure these uh, pressure, that is the temperature and ultrasound etcetera together in the system. So, uh, to understand the what is the mechanism, how they actually uh, result there, how what is the synergistic effect of all these factors is uh, that will even pave the way of better utilization of the technology or successful commercialization of the process. Another equally good process is the osmodehydro freezing that is which is a combined process in which osmotic dehydration is followed by air dehydration and freezing. And this results in the fresh like product with less moisture content and even the product with nil or without any addition of or use of preservatives etcetera. Osmotic concentration followed by air drying using the hurdle technology as an alternative is, is a, as an, an alternative to the traditional drying process. And the advantage of the porous microstructure of the osmodehydro frozen products as well as increasing water transfer rate during osmodehydro freezing process are the added advantages that is the freezing time or even drying time can be reduced and the products will have better reconstitution characteristics they will have a better stability. And this I thank you for your kind patience.